Hello everyone, Ian here at Able Cine. We're at the NAB Show 2018 in the Able booth with the Sony Venice. A lot of new innovations with this camera, but first and foremost, it is a full frame 6K camera. And to that end, there's a few innovations on this camera that make it unique from anything Sony's brought up prior. And to start, we're gonna look at the lens mount. It starts with the PL mount, with the traditional cinema mount that we're used to working with. But underneath of here, if we take these captive screws out, we now have an E-mount. So with a firmware update, we're gonna have the ability to not only acquire uh, images with traditional PL mount cine lenses, but with E-mount lenses as well. So that opens up a whole bunch of opportunities for a lightweight, compact image acquisition. In addition to that, there's going to be a uh, dual sensitivity to this camera. So we're looking at native ISOs of 800 and 2500. So coupled with the lens mount options and these different sensitivities, really opens the camera up to a whole bunch of possibilities. On the operating side of the camera, we have a few amenities that are really great. We have two screens on this camera. So on the, uh, on the operator side, we have this tiny screen here that allows us to change the parameters that we're going to change the most, like our shutter angle, our frame rate, uh, things of that nature. In addition, we can also change our ND. This camera has, in one-stop increments, the ability to change the compensation by eight stops. There's two uh, wheels that work inside the camera to give us the correct combination of compensation that we want, but amazing to have eight stops built into the camera. Attached we have the R7 recorder. This is going to give us the ability to do raw acquisition. And because we also have the uh, ports here for SYS cards, we can be recording video or we can record video and raw files simultaneously. Now the R7 is going to give us the ability to capture raw in different modes. We have the standard raw acquisition. We also have the OCN or original camera negative uh, formats as well. So it's going to give us uh, lower data rates, bigger storage, but maintain very high image quality and give us the ability to have that raw workflow as well. On the back of the R7, we have the traditional V-Lock uh, for our batteries. And on the assistant side, we have uh, pretty much the kind of menu structures that you associate with working with the F5, F55. If you know those cameras, the trans transition to this is going to be pretty straightforward. However, when we go into the main menus, you're going to see that there is a new structure, uh, very straightforward how to navigate through, and it's very in-depth, allows us to a uh, tremendous amount of control. And we're going to have the ability uh, with firmware updates on this camera to do all the things that we've been doing prior. So if we want to create our own LUTs and import them and apply them to the image, no problem, we can do all of that. So we've got all the tools in the toolkit uh, to do professional productions. The audio is being handled by a five pin on the inside right here, uh, and that will allow us to do AES, line level, mic, phantom mic, all the uh, choices that you would expect to have on a professional camera. Uh, and the construction of the camera itself, the casing itself, is very impressive. It's a very different experience from the F5. Yeah, 55. This is a aluminum casing, very durable, very tough. And when you combine all these attributes together, you got a really beautiful looking camera that's very tough, very robust. It'll give us lots of options for acquiring our images. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.